What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a long, long time since my last video and I apologize. I really am sorry. Life happened, but it's no excuse. I'm back now and ready to give you guys some really sweet content coming up throughout the year. For those of you who are new, my name is Caleb and on here we talk about everything fashion, everything menswear, and everything style. Speaking of new people, during my absence we actually hit over 8,000 subscribers, which is incredible. And I just want to take a time to thank you guys who have been watching my videos, who have been subscribing and especially the ones that have been there since I had zero subscribers. I really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and I want to pay it back to you guys by starting to be consistent again and give you guys some really dope content in the future and throughout the whole rest of the year and for hopefully many more years to come. Anyways, let's get right to what you guys are here for in the first place and that is for these babies right here, the Common Project's Achilles Low. So how this video is going to be formatted is it's going to be formatted into two different parts. The first part being a review portion, which is going to be me just giving you guys a quick rundown of the shoe, telling you my thoughts on it, and telling you whether it's worth the money or not. And then the second part is going to be a styling portion, where I'm going to show you how to style the shoe by showing you guys four different outfits that are very easy to put together that anyone can do. So getting right into this review portion, let's talk about the shoe itself. The shoe has a very simple design, but Common Project's execution, perfect execution of this simple design is what makes the shoe so iconic. So when it comes to the construction of the Achilles Low, you've probably heard everyone say it's an extremely high quality luxury pair of sneakers and they're absolutely correct. The quality on this shoe is incredible. The best that you will find out there on a the market for a white sneaker of this type. The sole is made up with a very firm rubber while the upper is made with real high quality Italian leather. It's all handcrafted in Italy and the laces themselves are made with a higher quality cotton, more not really higher quality cotton, but just more firm kind of build to it. While you know some other shoes may have laces that feel very cheap and flimsy and don't tie very well, this is not the case with the Common Projects. They also come with an extra pair of laces as well. And when it comes to the detailing and branding on the shoe itself, it really has very, very minimal. The only bit of detailing that you will see are three columns of numbers that are gold foil stamped, and they each represent the style of the shoe, the color, and the size of it in European size. And that's what makes this shoe design so clean and elegant is because it's very, very minimal branding. There are no big logos anywhere. It's just very, very clean and minimalistic. Before I give you my final verdict on the Achilles Low and whether they're worth it or not, we need to talk about something that's very, very important. That is sizing. I think sizing is very, very tricky with these shoes. Some people say it's very easy. You just go a size down and you're good to go, but I don't think that's the case. And the reason why it's so tricky to get the sizing right on the shoe is because they're extremely, extremely narrow. Even people with normal size, like width of a foot, it might be too tight for you in certain cases. You have to go to the size or maybe even a size above, but then you start risking the shoe to be too long and you might look like a clown. So when it comes to sizing with this shoe, be very careful with it. I highly, highly, highly recommend you go in person and try them on because I, I think it's just too hard to get it accurate through online means. And a disclaimer, if you have a wide foot do not get the shoe. This is not the shoe for you. I'm sorry, even if this is a dream shoe of yours and these have been something you want to buy for a long time, do not get them. Save your money, trust me, because you will not fit into the shoe. And if you can, the only way you'll be able to fit into it is by getting two or one size above, but then the shoe becomes really long looking and you're just gonna look silly. So if you have a white foot, I'm sorry, but this is just not the shoe for you. So now we've arrived at the big question everyone asks when it comes to the Common Projects of Kilo, and that is, are they worth that huge price tag of $400? And I wish I could give you a yes or no answer, but it really comes down to the individual. For me personally, I'm a white sneaker enthusiast. I wear white sneakers pretty much every day, and I was tired of getting cheaper white sneakers that I would wear for like six months, but then they just get too ugly and messed up. They'd have to buy another one, so I was like, you know what? This is, I mean, Common Projects has always been a dream shoe of mine, but I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and invest in the Common Projects because this is a shoe that is the best white sneaker on the market and will last me four to five years and they age extremely, extremely well. So for me personally, it was worth the price. However, some of you guys out there aren't as into white sneakers as I am or aren't into fashion or whatever it be. You may be a casual guy just trying to dress decently. And for you, it's not worth it. Some Stan Smiths, work fantastic, they're cheap. Some of the New Republic um, white sneakers that they offer as well are a great cheaper option, they're only 80 bucks. So really it comes down to the individual, it comes down to you, ask yourself, do you wanna make an investment? 
for a long term to get a white pair of sneakers that will last you for years and does that does that seem worth it to you or are you somebody who just doesn't really care that much just wants some white sneakers to just wear as beaters around school or college or work or anything like that so it's just a question to ask yourself so the bottom line is if you're looking for the best white sneaker on the market the common projects achilles low are it and they're worth absolutely every single penny but if you're not looking for the best white sneaker on the market or if it just doesn't fit into your budget do not worry there are plenty of other fantastic options out there for white sneakers <laughs> Now into the styling portion of the video where I'm gonna show you how to style the Common Project Achilles Low using four really easy outfits that anyone can put together. When it comes to styling the Common Project, it's really, really easy because these shoes are just so versatile and are great for all different kinds of occasions. It's really hard to get it wrong. Keep in mind the outfits that I'm gonna show you today are meant to be simple and basic because I want them to serve as just kind of bases or templates that anyone can follow in order to style these shoes. I don't wanna tell you how to dress. Everyone has their own unique style and everyone should stick to it and not try to copy any Anyone. but I just want you to be able to use these silhouettes that I'm gonna be showing you with these outfits just as a basis as it's kind of like a starting point where you can build off and make it your own styles and one more thing before I get into the outfits all the clothes that I'm gonna be showing in this video will be listed down below in the description so if you have any questions on where I got this shirt or what brand the certain pants are it will all be listed down below in the description <music> So the first outfit that I have for you guys is a perfect summer look. White sneakers are amazing for the summer. They're amazing for every single time of the season, but they're especially amazing in summertime and the Comer projects are no different. This outfit's really simple. It's just some khaki shorts, a white t-shirt, and a button down floral tropical uh, short sleeve shirt on top of it. The second outfit that I have for you guys is a great casual one that you can wear around school, going to the mall, hanging out with friends on the weekend. It's just a great all-purpose outfit for so many different casual situations, and it's really easy to put together. It's just a black windbreaker type jacket with a striped shirt underneath it, and then some blue jeans to finish it off. This third outfit's another great casual look that's perfect for this fall time and even the springtime. It's really easy to put together. It's just a denim jacket with a gray t-shirt underneath or any kind of color t-shirt that you want really and some chinos on the bottom of it. With this fourth and final outfit, I really wanted to stress and prove to you guys just how versatile the common projects can be. So versatile that you can style these white sneakers into a business casual look. With other white sneakers, you can't really get away with it because they're lacking that luxurious look that the Common Projects have. And in this business casual look, all I have is a button down Oxford with a blue navy sweater on top of it and some wool pants. You can see just how versatile the Common Projects are with these four different outfits that I showed you. The versatility of the Common Projects is one of the greatest things about it. And for me, one of the big reasons why it's worth that big $400 price tag because I can wear them at any time with anything in any kind of occasion. To conclude, the Common Projects are Kitty's low are the best white sneaker on the market right now and probably will be for forever they will last you a long time and if you have the budget i highly 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 recommend you get them but if you don't don't stress about it because there are many other great cheaper alternatives to white sneakers out there right now but that is it for the video thank you so much for watching i really hope this video helped you guys who are on the edge about buying these shoes or not to make a decision and i hope you help anyone else out there too who have the shoes that need help styling them to get some kind of inspiration if this video helped you out drop a like if you have any questions about the shoe itself or just questions in general about style and outfits or anything that you want just drop it down comment down below and if you're new to the channel go and subscribe you will not regret it and i'll see you next time peace